This video describes a technique which can be used for the closure of parallel lacerations and for the closure of avulsed tissue islands. This is a fairly infrequent problem but is occasionally encountered in the emergency medicine setting or in the urgent care setting. In the technique that's described, you'll see use of a vertical mattress style suture in order to bring together the edges of these parallel lacerations and approximate the intervening tissue island. The first throw goes on the far side of the wound, through the epidermis, and then through the dermal layer of the intervening tissue island. The suture is then thrown through the dermis of the near side and exits the epidermis. These bites are taken fairly large from the wound margins, much like with a placement of a vertical mattress suture. Because the next step will be to backhand that same suture and now throw it back in the other direction, starting on the near side of the wound, going through the epidermal layer of the near side, placing the suture through and through the dermal layer of the intervening tissue island, and then pulling the suture through such that it lays much like a vertical mattress suture would lay, which we typically use for distributing tension on a single laceration. The suture is then tied off on one side of the wound, and the technique described has many of the advantages of the vertical mattress technique. It distributes tension throughout the wound and allows good approximation of each of the wound edges. This same technique can be used for avulsed tissue islands, meaning when a piece of the tissue is actually cut out of the wound itself. Instead of discarding that tissue and bringing the edges together in a high tension fashion, that piece of tissue can actually be replaced within the wound bed. You would first begin by placing larger bites in a similar fashion from one side of the wound to the other, traversing the wound. You would then take that avulsed piece of tissue and place it directly into the wound bed after carefully cleaning and debriding any foreign material. The next step would involve backhanding the suture and placing it again in a near, near fashion, starting on the same side of the wound where you just exited, running through the dermal portion of that avulsed tissue island, and then exiting again on the far side of the wound or the same side of the wound where the suture was initially placed. The suture is then tied off on this side of the wound bed and effectively you've created a vertical mattress pattern to distribute tension throughout the wound as well as approximate that avulsed piece of tissue back within the wound bed. This technique was first described in a letter in the Annals of Emergency Medicine in 1988 by Dr. Daniel Samo. Several other techniques for closure of parallel lacerations are also described both in my blog post and in an accompanying video. As you'll see, multiple sutures of this style can be placed in order to firmly attach that avulsed tissue island back within the wound bed. To learn more about this technique and other techniques in basic and advanced wound repair, be sure to visit www.lacerationrepair.com.